Good day, day everyone. everyone. I am John Harvey Romeroso. And I am Claire P. Rosarda. And we are teachers from Tessa Martyr City National High School. And we are here to present our study entitled Relationship, Relationship between, between Demographics and, and Students' Attitude Towards Research. research. Research is a very important discipline that encompasses almost all other disciplines in the academe and the society. It plays a very important role in achieving deeper and wider understanding of phenomena that can contribute to national and society goals. That is why research courses are offered in the undergraduate, graduate, and postgraduate program in all colleges and universities. Research courses are not included in the basic education curriculum of the Philippines. Only junior high school students who are enrolled in the Special Curricular Program in Science, Technology and Engineering, also called as SSC, have the chance to study the basics of research. Here, students will be introduced with the concepts of research and prepare and conduct their own research studies. Upon looking at the course descriptions of the four research subjects in the junior high school SSE program, the, lear the learners will be already exposed in the process of proposing and conducting their own researches at an early age, which according to Aguan Jr. et al. in 2014, is a difficult task to carry out. Although students are aware of the value of research in their lives, they still find it hard to develop a positive attitude towards the research procedures and even its applications to real life. Different results from different researchers about the students' attitude towards research have been shown from the different studies. It is in this regard that this research was conducted to determine the attitude towards research of the SSC program students of Teresa Martyr City National High School, and this research also tried to establish if the attitudes of the students varies across the different grade levels who are taking the research courses. It is important to determine such attitude to enable the faculty members to see how the students feel about being offered with such subjects at the early age of their education and also it will provide the baseline data to look into the practices of the teachers and to do necessary improvements to contribute in developing the right attitudes among students. This study answered the following questions. Number one, what is the demographic profile of the SSC program students of Teresa Martyrs City National High School in terms of their sex and grade level? Number two, what is the attitude towards research of the SSC program students of TMC NHS? Number three, is there a significant relationship between the demographic profile and attitude towards research of the SSC program students of Teresa Martyrs City National High School? And lastly, is there a significant difference among the attitudes towards research of the grade 7, 8, 9, and 10 SSA program students of Teresa Martyr City National High School? For the scope and limitation, the study was limited only in determining the attitude towards research of the students under the SSA program of Teresa Martyr City National High School across the four grade levels. Students under the general curriculum will not be considered as respondents because they do not have any research courses. Furthermore, this study also dealt on the determination of the relationship between the demographic profile, which are sex and grade level, and the attitude towards research of the students. Other demographic information, aside from the upper mentioned, were not considered in the study. For the methodology, systematic random sampling was used. 100 out of 331 SSC students were chosen as respondents. For the data collection, descriptive correlation was used, utilizing a questionnaire as the primary instrument, which was revised attitude towards research questionnaire adopted from the study of Apanastasio, consisting of 13 questions in a 7-point Likert scale. The negative worded items were reversed so that a higher numbered response on the Likert scale represented a positive attitude. Since the study involved human participation, a few ethical considerations were taken into account, such as consent, voluntary participation, confidentiality, and anonymity. For the data analysis, both descriptive and inspirational statistics were used. Frequency for the demographic information of the students, mean and SD for the attitude of the students, chi-square test for the relationship between demographic profile and attitude, and one-way ANOVA for the difference among the attitudes of different grade levels. As for the results of the study, Table 1 shows the demographic profile of the respondents in terms of their sex. As it can be seen, only 37% of the respondents are male and majority are female. 
Table 2 shows the demographic profile of the respondents in terms of their grade level. Most of the respondents came from grade 8, which is 28 of them, while grade 7 is the least, which is only 22. Table 3 shows the attitudes of the students towards research. As shown in the table, the students show a somewhat positive attitude having a mean of 5.49 towards the usefulness of research. This result is in consonance with the study of Aguan et al. in 2014, wherein the undergraduate students also had high rating for the usefulness of research. The students also have fairly positive attitudes towards the statements on the usefulness of research in their career, having a mean of 5.92, and that the skills that they have acquired in research will be helpful to them in the future, having a mean of 6.24. To continue, on the other hand, the students have a different attitude when it comes to the indicators in research anxiety. The students somewhat disagree that research does not stress them, makes them feel relaxed and is easy with means of 2.67, 3.03, .03, and 2.86 respectively. However, the students show a somewhat positive attitude to the excitement that research brings to them, having a mean of 4.72. But as a whole, the respondents have a somewhat negative attitude to the statements that measure their research anxiety with a mean of 3.38, which was the lowest among the three subscales. The lower is the scores obtained, the higher is the anxiety level of the respondents. Interestingly, the students are undecided with regard to their positive research predisposition, having only a mean of 4.46. All in all, having a grand mean of 4.44, the results show that the SSC program students of TMC and HS are undecided as to the attitudes that they possess towards the research subject. Table 4 shows the attitudes of students towards research according to their grade levels. As Table 4 indicates, only the grade 7 SSC students have somewhat positive attitude towards research having a mean of 4.98. All the higher grade levels are having undecided attitudes and almost similar results have been registered by them which was noticeably high or far from that of the grade 7 SSE students. Table 5 shows the attitudes of the students towards research according to their sex. These results show that female students see the usefulness of research more as compared to the male students. But the students generally are anxious about research and unsure about their predisposition towards the research subject. As for the positive research predisposition, these findings, however, is quite different from that of Kakupa 2019, who found out that male students have more positive research attitudes or predisposition as compared to female students. Generally, both male and female SEC students of TMC and HS are undecided, having means of 4.43 and 4.45 respectively as for the attitudes that they have towards research. To continue, Table 6 shows the relationship between students at sex and attitude towards research according to the attitude subscales. As it can be seen, the test between the sex and research usefulness, research anxiety, and positive research predisposition yielded the chi-square p-values which are higher than the 0.05 level of significance. Thus, the null hypothesis was not rejected. There was no significant difference between the attitudes of the students in those considering their sex. On Table 7 shows the relationship between student sex and attitude towards research. As it can be seen, a p-value 1 was obtained from the chi-square test of independence, thus the null hypothesis was not rejected. There was no significant difference between the attitude towards research of the male and female students. These results support the findings of Kakupa in 2019 that gender has no significance to the student's attitude towards research. Next is Table 8 showing the relationship between students' grade level and attitude towards research according to the attitude subscales. As it can be seen from the table, a chi-square test yielded a p-value of 1 for all the attitude subscales. This value is greater than the 0.05 level of significance, thus the null hypothesis was not rejected. There was no significant relationship between the grade level of the students and their attitude towards research considering the aforementioned attitude subscales. Then based on Table 9, the relationships between students' grade level and attitude towards research, the null hypothesis was not rejected. There was no significant difference between the attitude towards research of the students from grade 7, 8, 9, and 10. And based from the study of Gallus in 2019, in his study, 
he found out that the grade level of the students is insignificant to their attitude towards research. The result of the current study, therefore, supports the finding from the other researcher. And lastly, the difference among the attitude towards research of the grade 7, 8, and 9, 10 SSC students, based on table, the one way and of the attitude towards research of the four grade levels yielded a significance value that is greater than the 0.05 level of significance. From this, the null hypothesis was not rejected. There was no significant difference among the attitudes towards research of the students across the four grade levels. It can further be inferred that the grade levels of the students do not affect their attitude towards research. For the conclusions, based on the results of the study, it can be concluded that the SSC students' attitude towards research and their demographic profile had no relationship. Furthermore, it can also be concluded that regardless of their grade level, the student's attitude towards research has no difference. However, only grade 7 SSC students showed a somewhat positive attitude towards research. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much and good day. day.